Ghost Effect Tutorial. If you enjoyed our channel, make sure you subscribe and put the bell on and check the other amazing videos. Okay, I'm gonna start from here. So as you see, there's two layers, one of a woman and one of a graveyard background. So I'm gonna start with the woman layer, press on it and get the magic tool from here and you will have select subject. So click on it and it would magically select the subject. And now you can go to select, select and mask and it would select the subject. It doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry about that. And to output to, press on it to new layer. I press OK and you will have a new layer of woman. I'm going to name it woman one. And now I'm going to delete the background layer, which is woman. And you'll have this. So now what we have to do is get the brush and put it at like 30 and put it on white and go to woman and zoom in. maybe a little bit less change the opacity to 68 and press once here and once here and you will have this what we have to do now is press on woman one and click on mask you will have a white mask but first all of it make sure it's on 50% opacity and now get the black because you have a white mask and put a big brush about like 300 and just put the opacity a little bit less maybe 37 and just remove some from here I think we don't want to remove lots okay this is fine and now copy all of this layer Control J you will have two copies and name this one woman 2 so after that go to the mask of woman 2 and with the black just remove more make sure you remove the visibility of woman 1 so you can see what's behind and remove this and just remove a little bit more i think this is fine okay and now woman 2 get the move tool and just move it to the left about seven times so one two three four five six seven and maybe eight this is fine so eight times and turn on woman one and you will have two of them so on woman two put the opacity on 25 percent and you will have this and now let's go to this adjustment layers and create new gradient map and in the gradient map let's put the first one let's first switch the black with the white make sure the black is on the left and add a new one make sure the location is about 31 and the color choose 6 c 9 2 9 8 and press ok ok and you will have this nice color so go to the layers and on top of the background we have to add a new adjustment layers levels and on levels just decrease this until it's dark enough and the woman shows more I think this is fine you can see now the woman is more visible and now the second step which is we need to create the animation so go to layers and click on woman one and then go to window and search for timeline click on timeline and create video timeline and then click on this one here when you click on it you will have these small boxes and here we start the animation so you can see there's only one frame you click on the arrow here and you go to no delay and now it goes on forever like a gif then you duplicate the first frame from here you click on the plus and it duplicates into a second frame and the second frame is where we start moving the subject so click on the second frame and go to the layer and click on woman 2 and get the move tool and just move it to the left eight times like we did before one two three four five six seven eight and now go to the woman one and put it on 16 opacity and move it downward five times with the move tool one two three four five and now what we need to do is we need to click on the second frame and shift 
the first frame. So now you're clicked on both of them and click on tween or this four balls icon. And you will have this, so make sure you have all these checked up and click OK and you will have seven frames now. So what we need to do here, click on the first frame and duplicate it from the plus and you will have eight frames and get press on the second frame and just move the second frame to the last frame. And now if you click on the eight frame and the first frame, they are the same frames. While if you click on the seven frame, it's a different frame. So now click on the seven, shift and click on the eighth frame. So now both of them are selected, the seventh and the eighth. And click again on tween and press OK and you will have 13 frames. And now click on the 13th frame and just delete it from here and press yes. And now you will have 12 frames. If you click play, you will have this nice looking effect. So what you have to do here, you can actually go to woman mask here and get the uh, brush and you can actually make it a little bit kind of less visible. Edit it a little bit more and click play. Okay, I think that's it. So now you can just go to file, export and save for web legacy. And you will have this, so make sure it's on GIF, 256, 100% and just click enter. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and comment below what you want next.